Okay, I want to go through this one because it is slightly different. If we look at this numerator, it is not in the proper descending order. It really does need to be in proper descending order before we can do the division. So if I wanted to rewrite this, I could. I could put my 4b squared first because it's the highest power of the variable and then the negative 4b would come next and then minus 5. Now this is in perfect descending order. It starts with the highest power and goes down until we have plain numbers. Now that it's in perfect descending order we can do the division. So I'm going to put my numerator inside the division symbol, the, the dividend, and then the 2b minus 1 is our divisor. So now let's start. 2b times what gives you 4b squared? Well, that would be 2b. Now, if you need to come out to the side and say 2b times 2b minus 1, you certainly can. And that would be 4b squared minus 2b. Then we will change our signs and combine. So our 4b squared minus 4b squared cancels. Minus 4b plus 2b is a minus 2b. Now let's drop our next term and continue on. 2b times what gives you negative 2b? Well, that would have to be a negative 1. Negative 1 times 2b minus 1 is negative 2b plus 1. And then we change our signs and combine. So now we have a remainder of negative 6. So when we write our answer, it is 2b minus 1 and a negative 6 over 2b minus 1. Now you could either write it that way or you could write it as, um, instead of saying minus a negative 6, you could just say minus 6 over 2b minus 1. It is really and truly the same exact thing. All right, let's look at the next one here pretty quickly. We have this 2x squared y plus 8x squared y squared minus xy squared all over 2xy. What are we dividing by here? This 2xy is actually a monomial. It's one term. When we divide by a monomial, we have to do the shortcut version. So we don't do long division. So see, we snuck one in there to see if you were paying attention. So we can now change this so that we're rewriting each term over the 2xy. And then the second term, uh, oops, that's a x, sorry about that. That's 8x squared y squared over 2xy. And then we have negative xy squared over 2xy. And once it's separated, now we can go through and we can actually perform the division. So let's see. 2 over 2 is 1. That cancels. y over y cancels. And here we have an x squared on top and an x on bottom. So this x will cancel with one of those and just leave us with x for our middle term. Our, our first term, rather. Now we're ready for our middle term. So our second term, we know is going to be positive. And let's look at our numbers first. 2 will go into 8 four times. And now we have our x squared over our x. So this x will cancel into one of those and leave us with just an x on top. For y's, this y will cancel into one of those and just leave us with a y on top. So we have 4xy. Now we're adding a negative, so that's going to be minus. Let's see what will cancel here. Our x's, we have one on top, one on bottom. And then this y will cancel into one of those. So what we have left now on top is a y, and on bottom is a 2. That would be the division.